Today on Review This Thing, we're going to test these five lead-free 308 rounds out of this Sako S20 Hunter. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. The past few months, we have done quite a bit of shooting with this Sako S20 Hunter. I did want to do this test for myself and for you guys, though. So if you watched our video we did a few months back, we shot lead-free loads out of a Savage rifle and got pretty uh, less than stellar, I would say, results with those loads. So whenever Sako sent over this S20 Hunter, they also sent over some of their Powerhead Blade ammo, which is lead free. So I was a little skeptical when we first shot it, but if you watch that sighting in video, you'll see that it actually is incredibly accurate. Which then made me, of course, wonder if these other lead free loads would shoot as well out of this gun. So, we're back here today, we're going to see. We've got five rounds, of course I included the Powerhead Blade uh, rounds. Very similar to the setup we usually use. Again, we got that Sako S20 Hunter. We also have the Burris Veracity PH scope on it. Just looking forward to seeing how these do. I'm as interested to see as you are, so let's do it. Sure. On other testing videos we've done, a couple people pointed out that often the rounds get more accurate the later in the test. So we're gonna start with these Sako Power Blades because they've done really well. So hopefully they're gonna be very accurate and then we'll just go from there. Let's go ahead, we're gonna go top right. Ignore the little sticker. That was a shot from earlier, different test. Okay, shot one, two to go. Shot two, we're touching. Shot three. Not too shabby. I do feel like I may have pulled just a hair on that one. Let's try one more. I feel like I do this a lot when I do these. Always room for human error. There we go. That's a lot more like it. So as I said, these Sako Powerhead Blade lead-free rounds are super accurate out of this Sako S20 Hunter. Now, we'll give it a couple of seconds, let everything cool off, and then we'll see how these other rounds do. Up next, we're gonna shoot the Barnes Vortex 168 grain TTSX BT bullet. Previously, we've shot the 150 grain and there's 130 grain. Those Sako Power Heads are 162 grain. So I thought I would try to stay as comparable as I can. So we're going with these 168 grain. We're gonna to shoot top left and let's see what kind of groups we can get out of this one. All right, well you can see that shot quite a bit lower and to the right. This gun is sighted in for those Sakos, so I don't really care where this hits. I just wanna see how closely the three hit each other. Not too bad. Let's go for a third one. I definitely feel like that was me. Well, that one hit the same hole as the last one, so I guess it wasn't me. So there you have the group with the Barnes 168 grain TTSX BT. Now we move on to the Federal Trophy Copper, and these are 165 grain. Let's see how they compare. Let's go bottom left. Alrighty, so those are a little higher and to the right compared to those Sakos. Round two. Okay, about an inch away. If we can put one in between there, it might be a pretty good group. I 
actually kind of did put them in right in between there. So that's a fairly decent grip. I feel like that performed better out of the Saco S20 Hunter than it did out of either gun we put it in before. Third round down, we got two more to go. Okay, up next we are going to shoot the Norma Evo Strike. These are 139 grains, so these are going to be a little bit lighter than the other rounds we were shooting. Lots of comments I got on the last copper video said that you need to shoot lighter rounds than uh, the gun typically likes in a lead bullet. So we're going to try these 139 grain and see where they land. We're going to go bottom right. Okay, those hit fairly high and right, just like the last load. Let's see where the other two go. Well, that one's also quite high and right, but very close to the other one. Woo, there it goes. One more. So I would say that this Saco S20 Hunter also very much likes these Norma Evo Strikes. That's, um, that's quite a nice little grouping we got there. So this is on the list. Great. One more round to go. Now our final load of the test is the Sig Sauer Elite Performance. These are 150 grain. I will tell you that I'm very interested to see how these do out of this rifle because they did pretty terribly out of the other ones. So, only way to know is to shoot them. Dead center. So that one was just a little high and right, pretty much the same spot looks like as that last round. So if we can get two more in that same spot, then we'll be impressed with these now too. Okay, not too terribly far away. One more time. That actually wasn't a horrible group either. So one thing it seems that is the case with the Saco S20 Hunter is for one thing, this is a, you know, a very nice rifle. I would also assume since the rounds they sent are lead free that uh, this rifle is kind of primed to shoot lead free bullets. And uh, it certainly looks that way. It looks like other than that uh, 168 grain Barnes, which maybe it just needs a lighter weight. You know, but like I said, Barnes makes a 150 and a 130. So one of those may do really well out of it, but there are definitely at least a, a couple loads out of that test that we would not hesitate to take Results. hunting. Lots of videos on this Saco and then some additional videos on this Burris um, scope. Check them out. Uh, comment below if you have a favorite load, especially a favorite lead-free load, especially if you shoot it out of a Saco S20 Hunter. We really appreciate you watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Saco Best Non-Lead Load Test video. While you're here, watch a bunch of other videos, give them a thumbs up, share them with your friends, comment, tell us what you think. Also, go to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, sign up for our newsletter, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Go Wild, Threads, and check out our hauler store and our Amazon storefronts.